my channel. I hope you find this video and this channel super useful and if you do, make sure you give it a like and hit subscribe to stay up to date with all of my videos. So now you can play C or perhaps a few notes. So in today's lesson, you're going to learn how to tongue. So you can produce notes with a clear beginning, separate your notes and play short notes. So for this video, you'll need your French horn. So the first thing we do is we're going to practice our buzzing to warm up. So grab your mouthpiece and we'll start warming up. If you're having problems making a buzz, then head to this video here, which will teach you exactly how to do it. For more warm-up ideas, head to my Best Beginner Warm-Ups video, right up here. And I'll also drop the link in the description below. So, for step one, you're going to put the tip of your tongue behind your teeth. So, step two, you're going to keep your tongue behind your teeth. Take a big, deep breath in. Make sure the rest of your tongue is flat against the top of your mouth. And just before you blow out, you're still going to keep the tip of your tongue just behind your teeth. Here. So, when you're doing this, you shouldn't actually be able to blow out any air whatsoever. Your tongue, the tip of your tongue behind your teeth, is acting as a stop for that air. So with step two, with the tongue just behind your teeth, when you're trying to blow out, your mouth should be in the buzzing position, like this. So you see, when I move my tongue from behind my teeth, all the air will come out. But don't do this for too long because it will make you very red in the face and maybe a little bit lightheaded. So for step three, now we're going to release the tongue, but instead of blowing air out, you're going to buzz like this. And you'll notice when I stop the buzz then, I just put my tongue back up behind my teeth, which meant that the airflow cannot come out of my mouth, which stops the buzz. So now you should be able to produce a note when you're buzzing that has a clear beginning. Ta da! And that's how you do it! So pause the video now and have a go at buzzing and tonguing yourself. So now you've had a go just buzzing, let's try it in the mouthpiece first. So big breath in. So maybe you're keeping the tongue behind your teeth big breath in and when you go to blow out you're going to buzz and release the tongue just before you buzz. So now we've tried it in the mouthpiece, let's try it in the horn. We're going to try and play 10 separate notes so they can be any notes you like, just make sure that the beginning is as sharp and as clear as possible. And we don't want any fluffy notes whatsoever. Try and copy this. on any note you like. So now you've had a go at that, how short can you play your notes? Pause the video now and try and play the shortest note ever. So a common issue you might be having is, why are my notes so fluffy? I cannot get a clear beginning on the start of my note. What am I doing wrong? Okay, so it sounds like you haven't got the tip of your tongue behind your teeth. Check when you breathe in that the tip of your tongue is actually behind your teeth and the rest of your tongue is on the roof of your mouth. This is really important as when you try and blow out and then make your buzz, your tongue is what creates the seal and stops the air from coming out. Once you release it and the buzz starts, that's where the clear start of the note is. So to check whether you're using the tip of your tongue properly is to breathe in Put the tip of your tongue behind your teeth and try and blow out. If no air is coming out, then you're doing it right. Another common issue might be that I can play my first note really short and really clear, but my second note is pretty fluffy. I don't know why. So this sounds like you're not replacing your tongue back behind your teeth each time you play. 
So each time you want to play a new note, you need to tongue it by putting the tip of your tongue back behind your teeth. So when you say the words, da, 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 you can feel that your tongue goes back behind your teeth for each da that you say. So pause the video and try that now. So if you're practicing this and afterwards your tongue feels really tired, that means you're doing the right thing. It should feel tired. It's not been used in this way before, so it will feel a little bit strange and tire out quite quickly. So if you have any other issues that I haven't covered in this video to do with tonguing or brass playing in general, then make sure you pop a comment below and I'll get back to you right away. I might even do a video about it. Watch out for my Harry Potter special coming up where you'll need to tongue in order to play this. <laughs> watching this breast teacher video I hope you found it super useful and if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're a beginner or even if you're an intermediate and you're wanting to improve your technique make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date with all my horn videos check out my other beginner lessons if you're just starting out